well, my name is Michael. Uh, I work for Aosta, and Aosta is a company that is involved in uh, organic farming. Um, in the sense that we are the market leader, we supply organic fruits from organic soil heroes uh, from all over the world. And when you're involved in organic, you're automatically involved in soil because everything starts in the soil and everything is so dependent on soil. So in that sense, I've been involved in soil as long as I've been involved in organic. Yeah, I, th I think the consumer is, is, um, well, is, is key to this whole discussion and, and often we, are in, we like to get together in groups and we all agree how important things are, but unless we get the consumer involved, informed and then involved, things are not going to change that quickly or as massively as we'd like them to change. So it's all about um, informing the public, informing the consumer. And when it comes to soil, you know, every time that they make a purchasing decision, they are casting a vote for the kind of world they want. Now, if we can make that relevant to soil, that every time they go into a store and they think, okay, an organic product or a sustainable product from a sustainable agriculture product is a good choice for soil, then we'll start saying, seeing the changes that we want to see. Yeah, I think before we can let consumers make choices, you need, you need to inform them. So I think step one is to inform them. And one of the reasons, um, or one of the ways that we're doing that is uh, we've set up the, together with the Summer of Soil and many other great organisations, the Save Our Soils uh, campaign. And the Save Our Soils campaign is a threefold. It's based on informing the public that we're in a bit of a problem when it comes to soil. It informs the public that a choice for organic is the solution, so choosing organic. And the third point is getting people involved. We've, we've learned from a lot of experience that only once you involve consumers in your campaign will they start understanding it and talking about it to their friends via the social media, etc. etc. So that three-tier campaign is an essential part of, of, uh, of what we're trying to do. And then they're informed, and once they're informed, they can then make their own choices. I'd like to add uh, non-governmental organizations. Um, the way I see it, I mean, we are a business, and um, business these days are relatively, uh, are not trusted as, as much as perhaps they were 10, 20 years ago. So any theme that we take up, for example, now with the, the Save Our Soils campaign, or last year when we were running a campaign regarding bees, and, and the, the Bees Love Organic campaign, it's not credible if it's just a business saying this because they'll, consumers will think, yeah right, you guys are just on the, the back of the bees, you're just trying to sell more products. So it's essential that when you run these campaigns that you have non-governmental organizations, for example like the, the Bee Association in this case, or when it comes to food security, the FAO, uh, the FAO which are working with us and many other great organizations, to add body to your message, to show the consumer this is not just some kind of marketing gimmick, this is serious stuff. So there, I think there's a, a clear role for non-governmental organizations to work with business to get that message across, credibly across. The role of government is to create, um, uh, they're also not trusted, <laughs> unfortunately. So they need to, I think, um, create policies whereby great companies can operate in a, in a good way. And perhaps the companies that are, are polluting the planet and having a disastrous effect on what we're doing, perhaps they should be... Uh, less inclined to receive tax breaks and uh, etc. So I, I don't want to go too negative about other companies, I think, but positive, great initiatives should be awarded in some form or other and facilitated because this is the way forward. And we're only going to make the world a better place if business, government, non-governmental organizations, consumers, everyone works together. And I think that's, uh, that's also a very positive and motivating uh, yeah, image, that uh, vision. Yeah. I think the youth, and, and this is, I mean, one of the, my, part of my job is that I, I have to go to visit universities and speak to young people, and, and, and for me it's always, I think I'm more inspired than they are when I go to these places because I'm finding out that there is no longer uh, this, yeah, this, this dilemma, should I go and earn money or should I go and do something good for the environment or for, for your fellow man? It's, it's, it's one, for these students, it's, you could, there's no longer just going for the money. It, and not thinking about the consequences. So um, personally, I'm very optimistic as it comes to the future because uh, the youth 
already understand the problems that we have and already have wanted to directly contribute in, in many different ways and forms, far more than, than perhaps my generation or the generations before us. So um, personally, I'm extremely optimistic and happy that you, know, you guys are around and, and doing such a great thing. And it's, it's now more of a question of channeling uh, all that positive energy and, and doing something with it. And I think social media is, is a very good uh, forum or very good way of, of doing that. But there's many other ways as well that we need to connect lots of fantastic initiatives and lots of great motivated people and basically tell each other, you know, we're not the only ones doing this. There's so many millions of other great people out there who are also wanting to move towards this better world. And I think that is the most motivating thing when you see that you're not on your own, but there's many, many others doing it as well. So. I think the most important, you probably have this many times on camera, is follow your heart and, 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 and do what's close to you. And uh, whatever it is, how small it is, whether it's you're just helping, uh, I don't know, a, a kid in the village or whatever, it doesn't matter, as, uh, but do it. And, and don't just sort of stick with plans and wouldn't it be great, but just get down and, 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 and you know, do it. I think that is the most important thing. And uh, the rest, uh, rest is, is amazing, yeah. It's for the first time ever in my life that I'm getting energy out of my job. And how great is that? So, yeah, that's cool. I mean, soil, again, is linked to organic agriculture. And I think my future is also linked to organic, organic agriculture. It's a very important element. Um, 2017 will be the International Year of the Soil. So regarding our Save Our Soils campaign, uh, under this umbrella, we'll be continuing very hard and, and positively talk about soil and the importance of soil uh, until 2017. But as of then, it will always continue, obviously, because it's such an essential part of uh, sustainable food production. And uh, So uh, I don't know whether I'm with Aosta in 10 years' time, but I'm certainly going to be involved in sustainability and food and communications about that.